Good morning. Thanks for joining me. My name is Tim. Today I want to talk about a topic that's near and dear to everybody's heart. It's been a big focus for Group 1 in the last year or so, and it, it, it should be. Let's talk about customer satisfaction, CSI, surveys, whatever you want to call it. I think one of the interesting things we can think about CSI is sometimes we forget about it. And when I say that, I mean we don't make an effort. Uh, I have different thoughts on it. I don't think it should be an effort. I think if our process is right, this should take care of itself. And let's think about what I just said. That sounds like a big statement, and it sounds different than maybe some of you guys have heard before. But here's what I believe. If I walk out with the sound of meet and greet, I set the stage for good CSI. Because I want you to think about the responsibilities we give to our customers. Now, first, when I say do a good meet and greet, that includes enthusiasm, professionalism, includes the word track includes my questions, and includes my responsibilities. If I can do all that and do it responsively, I do it with no sunglasses on. I'm not chewing bubble gum. I'm, I'm clean and well kept. I walk up, I look personable. Matter of fact, the customer's going to determine all those things before they ever shake your hand. If I can make a good impression, first or second, because the first impression is when they get out of the car, because guess what? Just like you're making some uh, qualifying thoughts about them, they're qualifying you. And as they get up and they shake your hand from the beginning, they're qualifying you additionally. Is the guy smart? Is he knowledgeable enough to give me the information I need to move through this process? Guess what? What are they going to say because they're still gathering information? Hey, you know what? I'm just looking. And they will be until they buy. But we can't let that mess our attitude up. Gosh, I'm talking about a lot of different things here. I could spend hours talking about this. The truth is, we start our CSI and our customer satisfaction, our survey scores start when we shake a hand. It's kind of like having that pop quiz that they give you the answers to. You know what the answers are. So here's what I'll challenge you to do today with your managers. What gets in the way of your process being well enough to take care of your CSI? Because I'm telling you, if your CSI is bad, it's part of your process. And it's you individually. Because guess what? You as an individual represent Group 1 every time you go out and shake hands with a customer. So if your CSI scores are not coming in right, then it's something that you're doing. So what is it? And it could be perception. I know we go out with all the, the right intentions. You know, I want to make a happy customer. I want to sell a car. I want to make money. Because that's what we do. But we've got to remember, like I just said, it's perception. And people's perceptions vary from customer to customer. So what I need you to do is, as a group, let's step down and talk about that. What gets in my way a good CSI? You know, and let's not blame the customer. Let's not just say they're all off the rocker. I'm not saying we don't have a few that, that are close to the edge. But what I am saying is this. A lot of times it's us. Earlier we talked about attitude communications. We talked about 78% of what the customer's complaints come from are those two areas. And folks, that has nothing to do with the product or the quality of the delivery. It has to do with you. So. Let's talk out loud to our managers in the next 10, 15 minutes. Let's, let's put some things on the board. Let's get some things out in the open. Are there things that we can fix in our process to help our CSI down the road? Is it the delivery area is not very good? Maybe the time, maybe the people, maybe the actual the, the make ready of the vehicle is not very good. Um, maybe we have unreal expectations. What about getting our temporary tags ready? Is there a problem there? You know, this is so much from the handshake, because guess what? If you're real professional, enthusiastic, excited, they're going to follow you, and they're going to be enthusiastic and excited and professional. And you're going to build better rapport than you've ever known. And the better rapport, guess what? The better your CSI score. Think about the guy that, that, that buried you in CSI. Is he that mini that you got, you spent four hours on Saturday with? Or was it the guy that went through the deal so fast, you didn't even know what the guy's took the car, he loved it. Matter of fact, they even brought you cookies the next day, and then you almost forget their name because they weren't tough enough for us. So let's talk out loud. What can I do to get better CSI? How can I improve my process so that more often than not, I can get a better score? And you know what? It is about process. So give it a good thought. What am I missing? Thanks, and have a great day.